Hello, I've been in France for a couple of days now and unpacked things and settled in a bit. I thought I'd do a painting today and also show you my little art nook. So this is one end of my living room. And I've got all my art materials in this old little nook. So papers and books there. And then paints and stamps and other bits. And then I've got wax pastels in with the games. So I'm going to go outside now. This is a well that we uncovered and my dad built the new well surround. My dad found this old pump and fitted it and use it for watering the hanging baskets and the horses from next door stop and drink out of it. When this property was first bought by my parents and their friends, they didn't realise that this whole front garden came with it. So this used to be the village bread oven and it didn't have a roof, it was very ramshackle when the place was bought. And it's been done up, my dad and his friend mainly have done it up. So here's where the main oven would have been and the wood stove to keep it going, just to bake all the village bread. And then my dad and his friend have put this new roof in and they built a little mezzanine level. Are you going up, Fred? Not figured out ladders yet, have you? And my dad and his friend have built all of these new stone walls as well. And then we've got a little gardening area at the bottom. Which no one's used for a while because we tend just to be out here in the summers. So I think what I'd like to do is just paint a scene from around here, really. Maybe that. But I'm going to take it inside and paint because a couple of people have been asking if I would show how I do my kind of splodge and scribble method of painting. So I won't paint it plein air. I'll paint it inside so I can use a stand and video, video the whole process. This is my art table and today I've got out my trusty travel palette but I've also got out this larger palette that I put together just before I came to France which had got some other tube paints that had never been in palettes before and I've got this out mainly because of uh, these greens so I'll start off by doing a splodge layer and this is the photo that I'm going to be copying from. I just got the picture up on my laptop and I was about to start painting and then noticed I was being serenaded. <laughs> this is my dad playing his accordion in the bread of her. So I'm going to paint it with a wash then line method, which is just what I call my splodge and scribble method. And all it means is putting down paint first in roughly the right areas. So there's nothing precise or anything about this. It's a great way just to practice doing looser watercolour. 
you are literally just putting paint in roughly the right areas. I realise I've gone a bit high with my grass in the foreground. Keeping this whole segment in real time so that you can see exactly what um what I'm doing and also just how quick it is. I'm not labouring over this at all. Which is why I like it so much because I've been wanting to find something quick and easy that I still get some kind of satisfaction from. So that's my first splodge layer down. I'm going to let that dry and then I'll put a little bit more detail with watercolour in. So next I'll probably do doors and windows, maybe a couple of brick details on the outhouse here and a little bit more definition. I also need to put the leaves in around here. So I'll let this dry and then get back to it. The first layer is dry now, so I'll add some extra details.
Well, that's a few more watercolour details put in. And at this stage, it's generally looking its worst. And this is when I think pretty much every time I've done a painting like this, I've thought, oh my gosh, there's no way I'm going to claw this back into something that is going to look reasonably okay, which is exactly what I'm thinking at the moment. So I'll let that dry and then I'll go over with a pen layer. And it's at that point that we can see what we can make with it. And it's usually at that point that it starts to take shape a bit better. My second paint layer is dried now. And I'm going to use this Uniball Air Micro Pen. So now I've got the basic lines in, I can see that I need a bit more contrast. So I'll go back in with some paint. Because I'm aiming for quite a loose style, I think the temptation now is to paint within the lines a lot and make it over detailed. So I'm going back to using a big a Skoda Ultimo size 10 brush just to try and keep it loose. So I think I'll leave it there. I'm not sure it's my 
most successful splodge and scribble picture but it gives you some kind of idea about the process if you were interested in that i'll be doing more again anyway thanks ever so much for joining me bye just before i go i'll show you the paints that i used